Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Lenny here, co-founder of Yes Insights. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a survey hack that you can use to reactivate uh, your dead list. Uh, these are people who uh, showed interest in your product but never converted. Uh, so recently we had a customer reach out to us and he let us know why he signed up. And the reason is he wanted to use us to send uh, what he called a uh, nine-word email survey. It's a technique that he's used in the past, but we weren't familiar about, so he let us know what it is. So this customer, he has a uh, educational website for car enthusiasts uh, where he teaches uh, his customers how to tune cars. And previously, he had a debt list of 40,000 people, huge debt list, and he wanted to re-engage them. So he sent out this nine word email survey and with that he was able to re-engage and reactivate 10,000 of them. 10,000 of these people came back. Um, so you might be wondering, what did he ask, right? What did he ask? Uh, very simple. Um, he asked, are you still interested in learning how to tune? Yes or no? With this, he reactivated a quarter of his dead list, 10,000 people. That's a huge amount of people. And um, the reason why this works so well is because it creates curiosity in your prospects. So if they're still remotely interested in what you have to sell or what you have to say, they'll be wondering, why did you just send this? And very likely, they're going to say yes. Uh, this technique actually was, um, was used originally in the real estate industry uh, um, developed by uh, Dean Jackson. And he asked questions like, um, are you still interested in buying a house in Arizona? Uh, worked really well for him, and now um, the cat's out of the bag, and it, people know it's, it's it's great for all businesses. So another example is uh, another one of our customers. A um, it's a SaaS company that provides insights for mobile analytics. So they ask their customers, "Are you still interested in eCMP insights?" Uh, 117 people replied, and two thirds of them were still interested. So they they were able to reactivate those customers. Uh, really cool, and if you were paying attention, you would have noticed that 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 uh, that question was only eight words. Now, what's 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 important is not that the survey is exactly nine words. What's important is that it's uh, it creates curiosity, it's short, and it's asking a question. That's all you need. It doesn't really matter if your survey is ten words, nine words, or twelve words. It doesn't really matter at all. Now. You do have to be careful about something. If you're planning to send this survey out, don't send it to too many people at once. So we've heard stories uh, of people uh, being completely overwhelmed. Like uh, uh, this dental office, they sent it out to uh, 2,800 people at once. And uh, 800 people replied within 24 hours. So uh, they were flooded with replies and you have to give back to these people. So. Really be careful, and if you have a huge list of um, unengaged leads, send them send out the survey slowly. All right. So now that you've learned about uh, the nine word email survey, let me ask you: Are you so interested in reactivating your dead leads? Yes or no? Uh, if yes, sign up for Yes Insights. We have a seven day free trial, and you can probably get your first survey out in five minutes. So that's plenty of time. And if you do sign up, I'll be here to personally help you, uh, walk you through and help you reach your goals. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.